Hey, what is up everybody? It is Mr. Boylan. And in this video, we are going to investigate factors that influence the rates of dissolution. How fast, how slow. So pretty short and pretty sweet. When we break it down here, all we're gonna do is just list out and then explain three factors. One, two, three things that influence the rate of dissolution. Okay, so the first factor that we're going to talk about that affects the rate of dissolution is heating your solvent. You need to remember that temperature is essentially a measure of the kinetic energy. So the hotter that you get your solvent, the more kinetic energy or energy of motion that your solvent molecules have. So as you think about what that means on the particulate level, your solvent particles are able to dissolve your solute more quickly because they have more kinetic energy. I like to think of cool temperature solvents as middle school dances. Where everybody is just sort of head bopping along. Whereas a hot solvent is like, woo, everybody's going crazy. Two. The second factor that will affect the rate of dissolution is agitating. You are getting on my nerves. The solution. When you agitate something in terms of the dissolution process, what we're talking about is messing with it, stirring it, mixing it, shaking it, some way causing your solvent particles to move around more. Again, as you think about what's happening on the particulate level, by agitating it, you're again able to allow your solvent molecules to get in there more quickly and dissolve your solute. And then finally, factor number three, increasing the surface area of the solute will also affect how fast or how slow you get something to dissolve. So as you take a look at your screen there, you're given an image of a beaker with a very fine salt and a beaker with a coarse salt. More fine the salt is, the more surface area that you have available and therefore you'll be able to dissolve the solute much more quickly. Again, as you think about how fast or how slow you can get something to dissolve, it's all about the interactions between your solute and your solvent particles. And by increasing the surface area, usually we can do that by crushing things down, turning them into a powder, in some way exposing more area for your solvent molecules to begin dissolving those solute particles. That will increase the rate of dissolution. Again, the more surface area you have, the more area is exposed to your solvent and the quicker that solute will dissolve. And that, in a nutshell, is what you need to know for factors affecting the rate of dissolution.